Hey friends, welcome back. I am in Tehran, the capital of Iran, and I am joined with Hello. Fia from. Am I pronouncing it right? Fia. Fia. Fia is my guide for today here at the capital. She's gonna show me around. I have absolutely no idea what we are doing, but is it a surprise? Yeah. Sure, it's Let's a get surprise. Us I love it. Off we go to whatever this video is about. You read the title, I have no idea. But let's show you a little bit about the Tehran streets, okay? We're walking in public here. I am vlogging, a little bit nervous. That's why I have fear to <laughs> back me up um, with any situation that may happen. Even though it looks like there's a camera shop here. Like a whole camera shop and telescope and all that. There's uh, another camera shop a here. CPR in you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah. Look at that. This is this is actually nice. Let's, let's have a look at this. This is the first college of Iran. The first college of Iran. Yeah. Have a look at this. Look at that. It's called Darul Fanun. Dao? Darul Funun. Darul Funun. Yes. Oh, Darul Funun. Okay. Yeah. It's like the house of art, isn't it? Oh, polytechnic somehow, or yeah, house of skills. Ah, okay, house of skills, house, yeah, house of skills actually makes more sense. So yeah, we are walking in the streets here in Tehran, um, the bazaar at the back behind us, we left it, there's a video about that, check it, link below, there is also, what did, it, what else did I do today? There's a lot of things yeah, happening. We were in the Jew area. <laughs> in the Jew area, yes, yes. and, and the first traditional bank, bank of Iran yes. that run by Jew people. Yeah. And uh, what else? What you else? saw some part of Golestan Palace from outside. Yes. And yes. Now walking. But that wasn't actually in the video. That was not in the video. Okay. That was just for me. I see. You know? Now. <laughs> We are walking to our Tukhana Square or Imam Khomeini Square. You know, after the revolution, lots of names changed to Imam Khomeini, especially those named after Shah, the king. Right. Now, we are getting close to uh, Tukhana, literally means uh, artillery house. Because in the past, there used to be artillery house, artillery garrison close to Royal Citadel to somehow, you know, protect the city out of Tehran. It used to be out of Tehran. Right. A step by step, when Tehran get extended, got extended, this area attached to Tehran. And this is where in 1922 or three, actually designed like a Russian square inspired by Russian architect. And uh, now you couldn't see that old uh, square anymore because most of buildings got ruined later. But one of them, fortunately, again, they copied the old municipality palace. You can see there. Over there in the far distance she's talking about there, okay. it's uh, some parts are under construction. And there's a park in front of it. I actually walked a lot this area. This is the madness of the city here, Tehran. Look at it. Just be careful. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> when she said, when she said, "Just be careful," there was already a bike, a motorbike was passing by. Yeah, it's like looking right and left when you want to cross. This is something I've been doing for quite some time since I arrived in the city. But I want to capture it on a camera. I'll do it this way. Come on, let's cross the street. Let's go. Come on, I know how to, to cross the you street. You should sit confidence <laughs> and ask him to suffer. <laughs> oh. Are you crazy? I always wanted to get that on camera. <laughs> Crossing the street in, in Tehran. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, there's a fountain or a monument over there as well. This is like a, a park in the middle. Well, it's not really a park. It's like a, the roundabout in the a square. Yeah. In yeah, uh, square. in the in the city. Yeah. And um, look, there is an ugly building. Instead of that, it used to be the old uh, post office, very beautiful in Russian style. Uh, they destroyed in 1970. 
<laughs> but still we have an old building from that time. Here there is no camera, right? You can, you know, take a from this part. Look. But this one here? Yeah. Isn't this a police station? No, 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 no it's what a bank. Is oh, it's a bank. It's okay. A bank. Yeah, okay. So we are arriving here. There's a bank. But I love the building, oh my god, yeah, the building is amazing, like for a bank. Official Bank of Iran, it was Imperial Persian Bank. Imperial Bank of Persia, sorry. Imper Imperial Bank of Persia, uh, built by the order of the Queen Victoria and by a Reuters company. They signed a contract with Nasser Eddin Shah, one of the king, and they established the first bank in Iran and for the first time they printed notes before that Iranian used to uh, use uh, coins silver and gold one and uh, are, are there still coins uh, active uh, now? not now anymore no you more can coins. find it but not now in Iran wow so there must be antiques now like worth something not even yet like collectibles we just threw them away oh really <laughs> And look at the building. This is not the first building that the, the Reuters company uh, used for their uh, own bank. This is a second uh, building that built by cooperation of a British architect, Iranian and Armenian architect together. Right. So just near the uh, the bank, there is a cafe, a stall like this, and I feel like having a coffee. What about you? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Let's have a coffee here in the center of Tehran city. Look at this, man. Bazaar district, actually. It's called Bazaar district? Yeah, yeah, you know, all the streets also around here, actually they are part of Bazaar. People from other cities come here to provide their goods. So, uh, in each street, you can see a specific goods. For example, in this street, you can find just, you know, lamps, chandelier, and other Yeah, stuff. you know, I walked there, actually. Yeah, it's very full of light, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Refreshing. He's from Ireland. Belarus. Belarus? You think I'm from Belarus? <laughs> oh, merci, merci. Uh, I'm gonna have an espresso. <laughs> So, <laughs> I love it. Like this is what happens in Iran. This is actually a normal day for me where obviously I'm recognized as a tourist immediately with a camera and with a tour guide. The locals will speak to me immediately. Without a camera, without a tour guide, walking the street by myself, nobody looks at me. Really, I blend in just fine here, but this is fun, this is nice, I enjoy it, I love it. Did you order for us? No. So, single level? <laughs> uh, just like this one, yeah, it's fine. We're still at the cafe here, just outside, but I just want to share this. This is like the level that it is. He, he's got a camera, security camera here at an outdoor stall, you know, like... I don't think he moves this around. This is probably he does. It's attached to a motorbike. I'm not sure. But like, yeah, this is like the level of security that they have here, like on this. No, it's not because of theft or anything. It's not about that. Maybe it is. I'm really not sure why would you have a security, a security camera. camera. Everywhere we have security cameras. It's crazy. Like the fortification in this country is incredible with fences and cameras. That's why, like, uh, <laughs> walking around with a camera vlogging. I always constantly like I'm thinking about it. He wants to take a picture with me. All right, we're gonna go and continue the tour right now for real. We just had the coffee. It was really good for a for a, a country that does not have a coffee culture. Money. This one is really really yeah, good. Yeah, you can give him yeah. a review. Name money. <laughs> <laughs> just outside the bank. There's uh, his his plug into the channel. Yeah. All right, are we going? Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Mamnoon, Khodafez, Khodafez. Yeah, the people are incredible in Iran. Uh, they're always curious to communicate, talk. When you are a foreigner, of course, not many foreigners come over, so they're always like welcoming and curious about where you're from and what are you doing here. 
while I'm vlogging right now, I had about four people in front of me are looking back because I'm speaking in English, so they can hear that. They, uh, it's just the way how it is. <laughs> who can dare travel to Iran? <laughs> who can dare <laughs> travel to Iran? <laughs> who well, is crazy man? Who is a crazy man? <laughs> who but can I dare travel? I'm to tell you something. Uh, you know, this time is one of the best time because uh, most of places they give you a uh, discount. There are not many tourists at all nowadays and some places the touristic places are empty so you can easily take a picture do whatever you want one of the best time for traveling to Europe if you're not okay if you are careful nothing will happen to you I promise you just be careful then don't take picture when you see a protest that's all Iran is not what we all think and what is presented in the media Iran is really much more than that and this journey is just still at the beginning of it and I'm getting that impression already um, almost everything that I've heard about Iran from travelers not the media is true uh, yeah, it's, it's a quite safe country to be here it is fine you don't need to be a lunatic right <laughs> you don't need to anyway we're off to the next destination not sure what it is but it should be still good watch this madness when we're crossing this road right now look at this we need to like wave to them and and, and tell them stop stop <laughs> and go and go <laughs> even the local is afraid <laughs> one of the only surviving old building now it serves as, it serves as a museum a small gathering awesome. very nice Subway station. Very nice. Subway station. Yeah, they have a metro system here. It's incredible, actually. Unfortunately, in the metros, um, cameras aren't allowed. Right, so we've been walking for probably about five minutes or so from the coffee shop and along the street. It's very noisy on the, uh, on the side. But we arrived to, what is it called? National Gate of Tehran. Oh, that sounds so beautiful. And there it is. The gate of Tehran. My God, look at this door, man. Because look at that. You can see another mixture of Iranian architecture style and European one. Yeah, it's a mixture of uh, pretty much everything, right? Yeah, yeah. It was built exactly before the Second World War started. Wow. Amazing. And here we go inside. Look at the size of that. Wow. It's actually incredible how we just the moment we enter, it become quiet. The main road is just there, you know? It's very chaotic, traffic, loud, motorbikes, cars, trucks, everything. And look at this. Yeah, <laughs> from hustle and bustle of the bazaar area, we arrive in a very cold, yeah History. and look at the like it's it's the art there is art on the on the and they're they're tiles yes exactly painted one and you can see the picture of uh, Reza Khan he later becomes it's, became it's the this one right one. in the middle in the middle yeah yes. the middle is uh, is Reza Khan and, and Reza Khan who was he exactly one of the Reza Khan that time was the war minister of Qajar dynasty and later by coup d'etat by support of the Great Britain he became the king of Iran he established Pahlavi dynasty and he was the second to the last king of Iran the father of Muhammad Reza Shah the Pahlavi dynasty had two kings Reza Shah and then his son Muhammad Reza Shah and then in 1979 we had the revolution I like if you, for one second there you actually made an eye contact with the camera. Oh, competition here. <laughs> and look, you can see the citadel of Tehran. In the past, Tehran had a defensive wall. And oh, yeah, I see it there on, exactly. the, on that side there. Reza Khan, by help of, um, you know, the Great Britain and also uh, Russian army, uh, they took the control of Tehran. Yeah. And then he made the king of Qajar to uh, actually accepted him as his war minister. Hey. 
and he became the war minister. And after, I think it was after two years, he became the king of Iran. Nice. So the gate is just there. Over there, that's the gate. Looks absolutely gorgeous, okay? And this is the hallway where we are right now. Like, that's the entrance into different museums here. This museum here, I just like the, the building from outside. Now, I've been told that this museum is about calligraphy and... Coins. And coins. And the Persian miniature or painting. Right. And libraries. And libraries. And look at it from outside. Look at the details in that. It's incredible. So beautiful though. Actually my favorite building in Tehran. I really like this building. Because it's a mixture of pre-Islamic architecture plus uh, Islamic architecture. Built by With one this famous one? yes Iranian Armenian architect called Gabriel Gebrekian. Now it serves as the main, the main foreign affairs ministry and there is a very beautiful mirror hall inside for political meeting. Nobody can enter this room but at least you can see outside and somehow they copied a palace in Persepolis. If you later go to Persepolis you can see the same style. Look at the column and Ah, those columns she's talking about like this. This is a bad example. Let's try this one here. You can see this is the column all the way. And then on top there is like some type of horse. Horse horse with horns though. You know? Bull, I guess. A bull? Yeah. Is it? Because well, in the Mesopotamian uh, culture they believe that this uh, you know, creatures somehow pro it's very strong and can protect the their property. So normally you can see at the entrance of a palace, this animal is huge, a statue of this animal or griffins. Also you can see lettuce, another symbol of uh, Persian, uh, pre-Islamic Persian architecture. She's talking about these ones here, that looks symbol like a lettuce. Eternity somehow right fertility eternity amazing amazing what an area though here so quiet away from like the whole chaos that we were at from the bazaar from the uh, other market streets and crossing the roads and the noise and we are here now and it's actually not far like it's literally minutes walking distance oh look at that eternal soldier from Achaemenid dynasty, the first Persian dynasty. Uh, probably you heard about Cyrus the Great, mm. who established Achaemenid dynasty in 350 years BC. Yeah. And also, again, you can see another part yeah, of the columns. Yeah, palace in Persepolis. They copied the palace, one palace in Persepolis. Uh, in yeah. Persepolis, the columns are still exist. Yeah, yeah, not all of them. There's no ceiling, you know, after the Alexander yeah. the Great. You know, yeah, but the columns, like that shape, that that kind of yes, texture yes, yeah, yeah. is still there. Uh, you know, some part of it now, it's located in National Museum of uh, Tehran. A huge amount of it is located in Louvre in Paris. The best part actually yeah. is in Paris. But for sure, you can see the ruins of the uh, palaces in Persepolis. Still, you can see and yeah, some walls and some reliefs like this one. Amazing, amazing. We just left that part over there. Again, we are still in the same area. Look at it. This is Iran, ladies and gentlemen. It is, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, what was this building, did you say? It used to be garrison. Now it's a part of the art university. Nice. Look at it. It's a kind of a ruin here, but they kept it as is because it is still beautiful. And over there, I'm just going to show the space here because, I mean, again, this is Iran, <laughs> the capital, Tehran, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Look at the signs as well. So you've got the Pharisee, of course, language, and of course, you got it in English, National Museum of Iran, Portal of Bagmeli, Communications Museum, Malik National Library 
and Baga museum. Meli means national park. What national is it? Garden. Baga Meli, national Baga garden. National garden. Because just for for a short time, this place was national park of Tehran. Right. I just wanted to show the signs. Like they're yeah, they're very very nice. And and like if you look, this is all part of like all this is uh, all this is abandoned, right? Looks yeah, like it looks yeah, like because, it. Because yeah, they estimate it uh, needs too much if they want to renovate it, and they don't have enough budget for it. Right, right. All right, we're gonna continue this way. Let's uh, check out what is next on the menu. So we have exited the area where we were earlier. Okay. So now <laughs> he's calling me. <laughs> Please come. Uh, and you can see, like here on this side, there are restaurants, cafes here. I'll show you actually better angle. There's like a cafe here, restaurants over there, ice cream, food, the road, busy, you can sit down and eat here. Uh, this is a museum? Yes, yeah, National Museum. This is the National Museum in Tehran. I look at it like it's, uh, it's, it's just the way how it is. Actually at night it's a very crowded area and you should, uh, you know, stand in a long queue for a sandwich. But would it, would it, be, would it be the road locked, like cars will yes, still be exactly. passing? I can't remember because I've not been here for a long time at night. In, right. Yeah, during the day I'm coming here regularly, but at night I can't remember. Right, right. Yeah, it's very, very beautiful though. All right, we're gonna head this direction and check out what's the next. So look at this, like we walked along this street where the cafes, like restaurants, shacks, kind of hot kind of style. This way here, and there's the gate all the way around. And we arrive to this building here. This is the National Museum. Yes, exactly, and it has two parts, pre-Islam and after Islam. This part is ancient. Actually, it has lots of uh, artifacts from uh, ancient time and pre-Islamic time. And if you notice, the entrance has a, you know, it, it looks like an arch. And this arch actually copied from one arch in Tisifun, legendary capital of Iranian near Baghdad. Now nothing left from that, uh, you know, legendary uh, capital. Just this picture, it's called Tagh Kasra. You see, it's 18 kilometers ah. far from Baghdad. Oh wow! The only remaining. Very similar. And Andre Godard, the French uh, archaeologist, actually copied this arch to build this um, museum. I see. Because he was invited to build uh, the first museum of Iran. I see. I see. Wow! Interesting facts. Amazing. Right. Let's continue. What's next? Okay. Now. Look at this fountain over there, by the way. Let's have, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look here, right? Let's show this. This is uh... cats. Beautiful cat. They're not Persian cats, but they still are beautiful. Look at that. So yeah, we were like walking along this main street, but in the very end, and then we enter from the gate all around and in the back, and then out, and now we're here. Like you can see, it's it's very beautiful. I like the the complexity between the you know, the, uh, the chaos and the modernization part between both worlds. Right, so we are at the very end of this video. If you made it this far, thank you all for watching. Please do consider subscribing if you have not subscribed already. Give the video a thumbs up. Helps with the algorithms. And as always, any last words? Uh, well, now we are going towards subway station, the red line from Imam Khomeini Square and I want to take you to the north of Tehran and imagine altitude here is around 1000 meters and I want to take you to the north of Tehran with the altitude of 1600 meters and you can see easily the mountain of Tehran and there's another bazaar there uh, not like this bazaar grand bazaar a smaller one and also one holy shrine and then we go a bit further to see some modern part of Tehran. That will be in the next video. See you on the next one.